reading from Dr. Edward Edinger's Archetype of the Apocalypse, page 178. Every depth analysis is a miniature apocalypse. The individual experiences a conflict of opposites, of one kind or another. The frustration of their resolution, defeat, demoralization, or despair, leading to an impairment or paralysis of libido flow, as if there were a destruction of one's world from which conscious civilization has to start over again. All these experiences are standard symptomatic events prior to and during analysis. But if healing is to take place and life is to go on in fullness, the nature of the situation has to be understood. Meaning has to be found. The painful process itself must be found meaningful. And so these questions naturally arise in the analytic work. What's happening here? Why does this happen to me? Where does the responsibility lie? And what does it mean? In the study of one's personal life history, going back through the traumas of early experience that make up so much of our personal complexes, shallow answers to these questions may be found. And if that method suffices to provide sufficient meaning that heals, so be it. But often it does not, and one must go deeper. It is then that one may come eventually to the self, the paradoxical God image that Jung discusses so fully in the answer to Job. The experiences one has in that encounter, the knowledge that one gains in the process, is what Jung means by knowledge of the divine. And when that is achieved, the neurosis is finally healed. These same matters apply on a vast collective scale as humanity begins to experience worldwide apocalyptic events. The same questions arise. Why is this happening? Who is responsible? What does it all mean? And those questions take on increasing urgency the more desperate circumstances become. In contrast to the conscious process of individuation, the answers to these questions are dealt with collectively in large-scale regressive phenomena. The atavistic return to religious fundamentalisms, the disintegration of complex social structures, and reversion to more primitive social arrangements, massive collective shadow projections, massive collective shadow projections leading to factional wars and violence of all kinds on all social levels from the family to the neighborhood gang and on up to the national level and by widespread despair leading to increases in suicide and to addiction of all kinds. In general, there occurs a disintegration of social and psychic structures and values which have been the architecture of the collective psyche no longer contained. And I see these tendencies as potentially being so widespread that they generate vast waves of psychic contagion, tending to infect even those who might otherwise have sufficient consciousness to resist them. Vast collective psychic moods have immense contagious power. I paint this terrible picture as a backdrop in order to repeat what I believe is a possible mitigating factor. In the midst of this horrible state of affairs, it is just possible that Jung's message, as he presents it in answer to Job, will finally gain the attention of enough members of society to draw his message into general view so that it will receive some discussion, at least beyond the modest readership of this book. If that were to happen, people might then begin to get a glimmer of the meaning of the collective upheaval we are all having to endure. Perhaps a certain sufficient number of the creative minority would begin to entertain the idea that a vast historical transformation of God is going on and that the ordeal is the necessary sacrificial event to bring about that transformation. Putting it differently, as Jung does in The Undiscovered Self, quote, We are living in what Greeks called the kairos, the right moment, 
for a metamorphosis of the gods, of the fundamental principles and symbols. This peculiarity of our time, which is certainly not of our conscious choosing, is the expression of the unconscious man within us who is changing. I repeat the principle one more time that apocalypse imagery for the individual signifies disaster only if the ego is alienated and antagonistic toward the realities that the self is bringing into consciousness. It is then that the archetype of the apocalypse must manifest catastrophically. But if the ego is open and cooperates with the coming of the self, the very same imagery can signify, as Jung puts it, a broadening out of man to the whole man. The apocalyptic events depicted in the book of Revelation are at hand. Jung's answer to Job, if we can assimilate it, provides us with the meaning of these events. Certainly Jung thought his understanding of these matters was worth his best efforts to communicate rather than allow his laxity to let things drift toward the impending world catastrophe.